Hello folks, it's me again. How is everyone doing? You know, I was, uh, I was thinking, and I never really actually wrote this down, but I think I've came, I've come up with, uh, an advantage that makes our, mu that makes rock and metal music have some kind of bigger advantage over other music genres, pop, mostly popular out there today, that in other way, other words would not, like, have an advantage. And it's because I think rock music has an advantage over stuff like hip hop and rap because it's more instrumental, and so is heavy metal. Heavy metal is also more instrumental. Like I listen to Russian metal, I listen to Ukrainian metal, I've listened to uh, Argentinian, Puerto Rican, and Mexican metal as well. And uh, some of the, sometimes they sing in like Russian or they sing Spanish. I've listened to one song from a Chinese metal band, and I know there's Japanese, and there's Sepultura, and all that stuff, even though Sepultura speaks English, but, um, a point I want to try to get across here is that we have an advantage in terms of our bands becoming popular in different countries, even if they can't understand the language, because we're more instrument. it's more instrumental. Like, there's this band, Amateur, that I listen to, that's a Russian, and there's also, like, uh, I listen to some Argentinian metal, and sure, it's curious to know what they are saying, but does it does it really matter? No, because you're enjoying the music as well. Whereas in rap, the problem with like hip hop is like you're so dependent on the vocals that you can't really like make a difference. Like, like the vocals are like the like what people are saying in the song is really the big crucial part of the of the song, and like sure, let's say if you're an English speaking rapper. Yeah, you get it. You got. You probably have a chance because, throughout human history and throughout like world history, English language has dominated because of, uh, the uh, because of the nations of Great Britain and United States of America being dominant in the world and being influential in the world and people having to learn English and stuff like that. So yeah, that makes sense. But let's say, how about let's say you're, uh, let's say you're a rapper, you're you're a hip hop artist, and you're living in. China, or you're living in like a Spanish-speak country, or basically any other country that doesn't speak English. What's your chances you're gonna make like fans in other countries or fans in around the world if you don't have if they, if they can't speak your language? Like if you're a French rapper, I mean, chances are like you're not gonna get a Span an English-speaking audience because no one's gonna understand you. That that's gonna bother them for some reason, and it's like. I always thought, well, should the vocals matter? Well, then again, in rap, they do matter. Whereas in rock, they don't matter. You just, if you want to make them matter, that's a different story. But overall, they don't have to matter. Like, you still have the instrumentals and stuff like that. And you, and the vocals, you know, the thing is, with rap, the vocals are pretty much the same. They're the same tone. They're the, the same tone. Maybe sometimes the same rhythm, sometimes faster. But they're, they're basically the same tone. Whereas in other... In genres of metal and rock, they are different tones throughout a song. So the vocals can be used as instrumentals. Like in some English death metal songs or metalcore or whatever the hell, like sometimes I can't understand what they're saying, but still that doesn't bother me. I still can, like, I can still, like, uh, interpret it as an instrumental instead of a vocal. You kind of, I mean, I mean, you kind of, people kind of understand the point I'm getting at here. I think that that's our advantage we have over other countries, and I think that gives us like a prop up to like being able to influence other countries' bands and stuff like that. And I mean, like, I think that's the reason why I think we have a big advantage over that. And like again, with rap, like, like rap, you, I think you really need the vocals. To understand them because like I gave uh, some of my friends who speak I mean some of my friends who listen to rap I gave them a Russian rap song and they don't understand Russian so when I gave them the song they didn't like it because they couldn't understand what they were saying whereas if I gave whereas I gave my so I gave some of my friends who listen to metal I gave them a Russian metal song and they liked it because they didn't need the vocals. You know, the vocals were not necessary. They were optional to them. You know, that's the thing. They were optional. 
And here's something else I'd like to say also to all the critics out there with metal who say, I can't understand what they're saying. Uh, yeah, bullshit, okay? Just because you can't understand what they're saying doesn't exactly mean I can't understand what they're saying or I can understand what they're saying. Just because you can't understand what they're saying in a song doesn't exactly apply to me. Probably I can understand what they're saying. And if even if even if you don't, even if I can't, that doesn't mean, you know, I can just sit there and go, oh, oh, I give up, you know. I mean, for crying out loud, people, this is the internet here. I mean, people, this is really lazy and stupid. I mean, open up another tab, you know, type in Google, go type out the song on Google and the lyrics. And the lyrics will be on a website. Read the lyrics. I mean, you know, how hard is this, people? I'm sick and tired of this crap with people going like, you know, oh, I can't understand what they're saying. No excuses. Bullshit. The lyrics are online. Go look up the lyrics. There you go. You know? And, yeah, I mean, so no more bullshit excuses with the vocals. Okay, I gave you a couple examples already, and even with some Russian, even with some, uh, Ru yeah, Russian and other languages, there are dedicated fans who publish the lyrics in English. So, yeah, there's that too. If you really are curious about the lyrics. I mean, sometimes I am when I'm listening to a Russian metal song or when I listen to the Argentinian metal songs that, like, my uh, connection gave me. But still, at the same time, it doesn't really bother me that much. Whereas if I was listening to rap, it probably would bother me more because, like, it's such a, it's such a dependent thing. Like, it's so dependent on it. Whereas it's, it's, just, it's just designed to be dependent on it. Because... For most rap songs and most hip hop songs, the beats are pretty much the same throughout the song. Anyway, I think that is what gives us a good advantage of that, and I, I think some of you might agree with me. I am pretty sure most of you would agree with me. Uh, comment, like, favorite, all that good stuff. Also, send to your fellow rocker buddies, so send to your fellow metalheads, and see what they get my take on all of this stuff. Uh, thanks for listening in. Bye-bye.